In the wake of the George Floyd murder, everybody's looking for solutions to police brutality. We need not look any further than our founding Enlightenment thinkers. Jean-Jacques Rousseau, Montesquieu, and John Locke. These are the Enlightenment thinkers that set the tone and the temperament and the attitude and the flavor and the rules that our Constitution is based upon that James Madison and Thomas Jefferson copied their ideas and their philosophies, that all men are created equal, that all men are entitled to private property, that all men are entitled to due process. I believe Montesquieu wrote a book called Checks and Balances. It's not the actual title, but you'll find it. These ideas of checks and balances are as old and older than our Constitution. It, we go back to the Magna Carta of 1512. These are not my ideas. The number one principle of our country is liberty, that you are free and that you have a right to die for your own freedom with the Second Amendment. And with the Fourth Amendment, you have a right to be free in your person, that you are a free human being. You can walk down this street and absolutely nobody can infringe on your freedom unless it's sworn by oath or affirmation and probable cause has then been committed where you've broken the law. The founding principle of our country is liberty. Let's use what Montesquieu wrote the book about. Let's use Jean Jacques' principles of checks and balances. It's very simple. We're not getting rid of police. We're going to keep police. When you say defund police, what that actually means is fund the Montesquieu building. And what the Montesquieu building is, is this is actual tax funded auditors. The reason there's thousands of people who have a legitimate following of hundreds of thousands or millions of followers who film police is because it's a tax funded required job that's not being met by our government. And, the, and when it's not being met, the results are the, the, unfortunately, the people who are legally departed on the wall behind me. This agency will re get all the body cam footage. And if your heart rate monitor goes off and you're a police officer, then your TV lights up on every floor, checks and balances on top of checks and balances, so that the people on the first floor see the same TV as the people on the 7th and the 10th and the 15th. These people are also the on-site tax-funded auditors who film police at all times. James Madison said, you have to have men's ambition to counter men's ambition. That's an important philosophy. Now add that philosophy that our country is founded on the principle of liberty. And now that we have no checks and balances on police, which is a required occupation in America. The defund police movement is actually talking about funding immediately this sister agency that does not have police in it. And police, ex-police officers are not allowed to be in it. Men's ambition to counter men's ambition. And then we have a third agency that must be created to create a quorum. These ideas don't belong to me. I'm not coming up with these things. These ideas are history, ancient history, thought up by men far smarter than you and I. And of course, the John Locke building, this building would oversee district attorneys. What are we seeing on video after video now? What's, what are we finding out? that the district attorney has information that would exonerate somebody and because they need to get that prosecution, because they get a bonus based on winning percentage of court cases that they get a guilty verdict on. That has to change. We need the lock building to oversee district attorneys. Additionally, this agency would redo congressional district lines. The gerrymandering has become out of control. We need to create an agency within this agency that oversees district attorneys that redoes the district congressional lines. Because if you take a look at them, they're ridiculous. And I suggest kids doing a double blind study through MIT. That would be my recommendation. But again, I'm a useful idiot. I'm here to share and disseminate ideas and information. They oversee district attorneys. However, this agency, what they also do is they oversee all warrants. Because the truth is, is that the caging system that you see behind me isn't working out. We're locking people away for decades and decades and our culture is far, far worse. If we stuck that same money into educating, 
What did John Locke say? John Locke said, show me the character of a man and I'll show you how much education he has. And instead we spend that money punishing a human being who was already punished and that's the reason why they're in that cage. Because we all know that hurt people hurt people. The three commissions on policing, the Wickersham, the Mullen, and the Knapp, if you've never heard of them, they are on the website, the Laws, they are free. Register and I'll, you can read these. And this shows you what the policing that we've had since the beginning actually is. Inept, ineffective, violent, lawless, corrupt, organized crime. You can't sign up to be a police officer today, be a part of this prison system, and still earn the respect of a lot of people in America. It doesn't matter how I feel about police. If we don't create checks and balances on police, what will happen is if you're a police officer, your great grandchildren will lie about you. And they will say that you were not in their family, that you married in. Because this is gonna go down in history as one of the greatest blunders of all time. You take people to a dungeon and drop them off where they'll be raped, beaten, assaulted, and hurt and at the very least have to spend everything they have to fight for their, for their liberty. Please go to DeleteLaws.com, download these three police commissions because if you haven't read them, you don't know anything about policing, respectfully. Thank you.